I wanted to show you the drawing journal that I made before everything started on YouTube and before I started my Etsy and Facebook group. So I just wanted to share this little ring bind journal that I made so long ago. I want to talk about it, how I made it and from what I made it. So the cover, um, the front and the back is actually made with a little bit sturdy um, magazine page. Uh, usually the sturdy magazine page from the front and the back. So I used some paints and just painted with my brush so you can actually see all the streaks from my paintbrush. And then I doodled my label space um, with just some alcohol markers and that was it. Um, I think I got these um, rings um, in a Happy Mail and then I really liked them so I wanted to find them and I purchased some after that. They're really easy to use and you can use anything. You can even use um, regular thread to um, put this together. What I used in this one is basically old scraps that I had from some projects or stuff that I got in Happy Mail. And when I say Happy Mail, with that I mean I was in some Happy Mail groups, I still am, and we just sent one another some crafting goods and some projects we were working on. This paper is one of the notebook tearaways, uh, when you can buy it um, like a sticky note type thing. And I used this as a mask for some envelopes, so I used my homemade stamp and stamped all around that envelope. So I didn't want to throw it away, so I used it here to create some journaling spots. This is a page made out of um, advertisements. I folded one big page two times to get this size, and I just glued all the pages together. I guess if I would make another type of junk journal like this, I would probably just fold and stitch all around. So I would add the stitching part because um, I don't think I had a sewing machine back then. So another paper, this is just a school grid paper. So I use that and a lot of bits from envelopes that I got in Happy Mail. I can see this um, advertisement is from one of the Christmas um, shops. So you can actually see some design in the background like oranges and uh, this one is flipped upside down so and it doesn't really matter it really looks nice and just another way to use up some of the junk mail that we get at home uh, like you can see this is a front part of the envelope I think here was my address so I covered it up and just went with um, whatever I had that time Again, here a little bit of um, magazine, this yellow one, and this envelope that I have on the left side. And again, just like really, really easy, just uh, gluing and trying to find some composition that I'm going to like, and that's it. I did make some pockets on the top. I folded it twice and then created a little pocket. Um, so the middle is not totally glued. So in every page, I put a pocket inside so I made some tags and used some twine that I got so let's move on oh here's another pocket I really was into doing this kind of shape for tags for some reason I don't know why um, and I do really like them so this is just a regular packaging I just glued some uh, painty papers on and put some um, I think this was my blouse or something <laughs> and just some of the uh, beads and looks really cute so you go back and this page is a little bit different than the rest I used to use my paints whenever I was painting something or just wanted to clean my brush on regular paper I have some coil spine bound um, notebooks and I use the paint to just go over with my brush to get as much as the paint off of my brush and then actually cleaning the paintbrush so this is another of that sticky note that I had lying around and I just use the strips uh, it makes a little bit of different feeling when you add some texture onto it 
So this one is really simple. I just used some of the strips that I had left um, from my books and used some to make a border all around and then just make some writing space in the middle. And this one is the same writing space in the middle. So you can probably see when I was using paintbrush with some paint on, I usually didn't finish one page totally and then I used another color and another color over it when it was really um, soft color. So I created different um, splotchy looks um, to the papers and I really, really love those. So I'm kind of hoarding those now, but before I just used whatever I had. Um, and here is another tag that I got in the Happy Mail. Just the um, scrapbook type taggy. Okay, and this is the last page pocket. Um, I know that the wording is upside down, but it doesn't bother me. It actually looks really nice to me. And I wanted to use um, another uh, papers as well to turn the text upside down. So it just goes together. At that time, I was playing a lot with shading um, shapes. And this is the last one where I used one of the embellishments. And you can see some food in the back. It, you know, it just goes together. I think it looks really, really nice. And usually I like to cover the holes if I have some. So I think I just use a really tiny piece of paper to put in the background. And that's kind of it. I think it looks really, really nice. And we have a last tag here. I think it's a Christmas one. Yeah. Oh, what fun. I really love this one. I might try to make some of acetate tags as well. I was thinking to do that time, but then I didn't do it. So I love how it looks um, here. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And the last page, like I said, a little bit of doodling and sturdy magazine page. And that's it. Yep. So this was really inspiration to use up a lot of the junk mail that I actually got in my mail. So... I might do another video or tutorial or just play around. I hope this inspired you to use up some of your junk mail in this kind of way. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.